so I have set up um, four different um, aquaponic systems and I'm going to do some testing on which systems um, work the best in growing a light feeder like wheatgrass. No one's ever really done a direct comparison between flood and drain, um, i.e. ebb and flow, versus a bell siphon setup versus a uh, raft um, setup. So um, I made one type of um, bed that can be converted into um, all three systems um, uh, very easily. This bed here is just a simple flood and drain system where the water gets piped in to the um, plant bed from the fish tank and it um, fills up the tank because the water coming in is coming in at a much faster rate than it leaving through the drain hole that's down below if you can see that. Um, there's a hole that's positioned down here allowing it to drain at the bottom of the bed. And then when it reaches the top of this spout, um, that will become the overflow um, valve and it will leave the bed through this spout. And this spout is positioned about uh, one and a half inches below the top of this bed so that the media can um, be placed up to this point and it can stay dry at the top so that algae formation doesn't occur. And then this sleeve is put over uh, the drain pipe that has holes in allowing the water to flow in, but it will prevent the media from blocking the uh, exit hole where the plant bed actually drains. And as you can see in the bottom of this plant bed, there's a bunch of solids that are accumulating. And that's one problem that backyard gardeners have with flood and drain um, or media systems in general, and that they get a big buildup in the bottom of their bed. And... Um, that can uh, lead to a lot of drainage program problems. So I've also made a ebb and flow system over here where I've actually have a grate that's at the bottom of this bed that can be lifted off and the media is going to sit at the uh, top surface um, of this bed and the fish solids can accumulate at the bottom without it actually um, blocking the flow of um, the water through the, um, through the media bed. Um, and that way this system can be easily cleaned because all you basically do is just take off this grate. This is actually just a kitty litter pan. You take this off and you can clean the system out when it needs to be cleaned out. And this basically system works exactly the same as this system. Now over here is a uh, bell siphon setup where it's basically a flood and drain system. However, um, this, uh, the pipe that's in the standing pipe here, you have a bell siphon uh, set up. And we'll talk more about uh, the tricks to bell siphons. Uh, they're not hard. Once you understand how a bell siphon works, then you can get it to work every single time. But basically what will happen here is that when the water um, rises to the top of this pipe, the, um, a siphon will be created as the water flows through here and the water fills up the tube entirely, that will create, that will force out the air and that will create a siphon effect, allowing this entire plant bed to be drained um, every 15 minutes or so, because that's about how long it takes for it to get filled up to here. With these flow and ebb, you basically, these flood and drain systems, you basically, you allow the um, water to, I forgot to tell you, you allow the water to drain out of the system completely by just shutting off the the uh, pump with the timer. So I've set this one so that every 15 minutes it will fill up to the point where it reaches the top of that um, outlet tube and then the timer will shut off and the plant bed will stay dry for about 45 minutes until the timer's uh, turned back on and the system's allowed to flood again. And this system over here, this system uh, rises up to the top of that drain pipe and then that takes about 15 minutes and then the bell siphon will just literally suck all the water out of the bed uh, forcing the air to go down into the media and the system will then um, uh, turn back on again. So this pump uh, for this system is, it stays on continuously and that allows me to not only do this flooding drain um, bell siphon type system but together in tandem I can do a raft system since this has to stay on continuously and here you'll see that the plants will be sitting in this raft system. And underneath here is basically just, um, again, the uh, 
overflow valve, the water comes up to that and overflows so the water stays constant at its constant level. And I have an aerator in there to allow the oxygen to get to the bottom of the plant roots so that they don't rot. So you can have a continuous flow system um, either running it through a bell siphon or a rack Hiya. system.